tied up and threatened a terrified family listening quietly this morning as home invasion robbers ransacked their Sacramento County home. It happened on Skipjack Way, this near Elk Grove. KCR3 Sharkina Shams is live to show us why the family let the robbers in the house. Well, Walt, they let them in because those suspects were wearing orange vests like this one, work vests. They told the family that they wanted to come into the house to check for a gas leak. That's the house behind me at 8.30 this morning. Deputies say the suspects knocked on that door pretending to have legitimate business at this home. But a family member says within minutes they were telling the four people inside the house to be quiet. That victim told KCRE 3 that the three suspects eventually threatened them with guns and used duct tape to bind the family and tape their mouths. One family member was handcuffed during the ordeal. Another one is just 16 years old. Her parents didn't want her face shown on camera, but she did share with us what she was thinking as all this was happening to her. Like, am I going to stay alive? Is it like, is this going to be my last time here in Sacramento? So I was like, if it is, then I had a good 16 years of my life. If somebody shows up at your door unexpectedly to call PG&E or SMUD or whoever the utility company is, um, ask if they dispatched anyone out to the residence, ask for ID, and if they're still not sure uh, who the people are, they can always call the Sheriff's Department and we can come out and check it out for them. And as you can see, sheriff's deputies are still out here. The sheriff's department says uh, they're looking for those three suspects, although at this point they will only have vague descriptions. Everyone here is just thankful that no member of that family was hurt. And while I can also tell you the family says that it was after those robbers left that one family member managed to uh, untie himself and then untied everybody else in the group here. Live near Elk Grove, I'm Sharon Shams, KCR Ray 3 Reports. Sharon, thank you.